I feel the dark side creeping in. Time for full confession. Two of them. Number one, sometimes I'm an idiot. Number two, we've had one camping season with the pop-up and got her out yesterday to uh, dewinterize and everything. It was a beautiful day. It's supposed to be 80 degrees all day. Took it from our storage facility here to the front of the house and was cleaning it and dewinterizing. Having a good old time and another pop-up storm. So, of course, with pop-up campers, you don't want to put them away wet. And I don't know if we're going to be able to go camping for like another two weeks. So, had to uh, kind of hurry up, finish everything up. Get her put away before the rain came. Barely made it with maybe five minutes to spare. And here's the idiot part. I've often thought of having a checklist for setup, shutdown, hitching. I'm comfortable with that. I like procedures. I like to tick things off. I'm a list maker. But I probably wouldn't have used it yesterday. That storm came out of nowhere. And, uh, you know, I didn't want to put it away wet. Uh, you know, can't leave it in front of my house due to, you know, city regulations, blah, blah, blah. So the idiot part is I woke up this morning. And one of the first things I realized is I don't think I took the kitchen sink uh, faucet nozzle off before you shut it down. So first couple things is the one I would always forget if it was me would be to take this off because the the walls are going to come down to about this level. So this just unscrews, pops right off. And these high walls that it's a it's a little uh, you know gooseneck thing. You got to unscrew it and take it down because it raises above where the camper comes down. So being a Sunday Memorial Day weekend, I came out here 10 minutes away to the storage facility. I got to get in there and look and see what damage I probably did. Um, and the dark side coming in. I actually had two thoughts yesterday. Pop up camper gods, forgive me. But man, I thought if I had a travel trailer. I wouldn't have to rush this. I could have still worked in the rain. And uh, I even had thought about moving up to a hybrid one of these days. But, you know, you still basically got the, the canvas you got to worry about and would have been the same situation. So I feel the travel trailer dark side creeping in. So I'm going to go open her up. I'm going to try not to raise the roof. So if I take any uh, video in there, it's probably going to be pretty dark, but uh, i got to see what the damage is, make sure there's no leaky water stuff. If I have to just re, uh, order the little screw-on gooseneck uh, faucet part, or if I, you know, bent the whole, uh, the whole uh, uh, faucet, you know, connection and stuff. So here we go. So if you ever wondered how much access you have, I didn't take off this little dude up here, but the, the steps are down. And... Uh, that's the dinette slide right there and i have crawled in here before and reached the refrigerator and let's see turn on my light here so you can crawl up over here and you can at least reach the refrigerator to turn it on and i have done that before and hey looky there So it didn't get bent down. Thank goodness. Wow. I wonder if I can unscrew it enough to get it off. I will check. So I'm guessing I probably got lucky. Uh, you know, the curtain and the, uh, the tenting maybe just, you know, didn't get bunched up here. So... Thank goodness for that. Okay, so I feel a little better. See, I would have worried about this for like the next week if I didn't come out and checked. So, all right. So I'm gonna see if I can take it down anyway. But if not, uh, no harm this time. But man, that's a that's a uh, save right there. I got lucky with. So, all right. Thanks for watching. Uh, be honorable with my confessions, huh? <laughs> Happy camping, guys.